They seem to be taking longer. Keep waving me through. It is Brad, the Average Aussie Trucker, and I am back at it again, ready for another week. Alrighty, so, bit of a difference. As you can see, we are northbound up over the gateway. However, it is quarter past four in the afternoon on a Monday, which, yeah, is different. Normally we're doing this on a Tuesday, and we're normally a lot further along than this. However, we, we loaded at Benedix uh, this afternoon, uh, got there about midday, uh, got loaded, took them four hours to load us, yeah, anyway, <laughs> took four hours to get loaded, now we're on the road, probably only going to get to Jin Jin tonight, and then we'll pull up there, uh, we'll leave right and early first thing tomorrow morning, and then we'll, yeah, we'll go from there. Hopefully the rest of the day is not too bad. It uh, hasn't been the greatest start to the day, like work-wise. Before that was great. Got to spend some time with the family. Uh, it was only yesterday that we we're at the Brisbane market, so yeah, <laughs> that was an experience. But anyway, guys, we'll get up the road, get some of this, some of the trip start. Well, we'll get the trip started. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you when we get to Jin Jin. All right. Uh, this is the only problem with going this late in the afternoon is you get to this part of Brisbane and you get stuck in this. And this, so this is the gateway. We've got, I think it's about five Ks, maybe a little bit more. Bloody Pelican doesn't even know how far he's going to drive. It's actually more like 15 k's from here. Jesus Christ, God help me. Till we get onto the Bruce, the start of the Bruce there, at Pine Rivers Bridge, and it goes from here all the way up to the Bruce, and then probably a little bit further. Oh, this is one thing I hate about leaving this late in the afternoon. But, it's all good. We'll get it done. <laughs> oh, so, anyway, in the last video you would have seen we left the Brisbane markets. Oh, sorry, we went to the Brisbane markets and boy, oh boy, was that an experience. As I think I said in the video, I've never seen a place where people are so high strung and so pushy and arrogant before. Like that was, that was next level. But, yeah, hopefully we won't have to do that this week. I'm hoping not. I have, I have actually asked for this weekend off, so I'm hoping that we can be home Thursday sometime and have Friday as well. But we'll just see how that goes, see what happens there. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to go sit in some traffic and... See what happens. You be talk my bloody ear off. I'll stop it. Good on you, Ronnie. <laughs> yeah, he's not wrong. <laughs> okay, so made it here to Jinjin. It's nine o'clock at night. I'm wondering if I keep going. Or if I pull up. I don't know. We've got a little bit of time. I'll have something to eat and then we'll work it out. So, yeah. We'll work it out soon. Well, I've decided we're going to keep going. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. And see how we go. I'll probably pull up. I don't know, about midnight. See how we go. My biggest thing is I just want to get on the other side of Rocky. I hate getting stuck in traffic and Rocky 
from what I remember, like I haven't been stuck at Rocky during the day in a while. And from what I can remember, in the mornings, Rocky is shocking, especially on that north side near the school for obvious reasons. But yeah, anyway, we're gonna get going, get up the road. And I mean, if we get up the road and I feel buggered, I'll just pull up. Wherever I can get a spot, I'll pull up. So, all right, let's get back on the road and see what the rest of the night brings. Oh, how we going, guys? Okay. So we got here. We made it to Yamber last night. So that was good. We made it here to. Connor's rest stop. I've stopped here a couple of times before, but as you can hear, I'm just warming the truck up, getting it ready, building the air up. And then we'll get on the road, get into Townsville. It's about eight hour journey from here. And then we'll, um, yeah, get going. So, but um, I just got word that we will. Hang on one second. Sorry about that. I just got word that, so we're gonna go and do this, unload, then we'll go and get some cotton, take that to Dolby from Emerald. Then we'll be here we'll be heading home. Um, sorry, no we won't. Friday, we've actually got to go and preload our Townsville run, which is good, that's something different. Then next week. Next week will be interesting. So next week we're gonna go go up on Monday. Same thing, we to go up Monday, but we'll be able to leave a little bit earlier because we'll be preloaded. So we'll go up Monday, we'll um, unload, and then got something different, something very different. But I'll leave that for next week. Anyway, guys. We'll get the rest of the air built up here, or fill out my book, and then we'll get on the road. All right. Hopefully it's a good day today. That'd be a crazy one. All we all we got to do is get into Townsville. So, yeah. Anyway, I'll stop yapping about it. Let's do it. Oh, so we made it here to uh, the Pie Face of Bowen, the United of Bowen here. Oh, it's just south of Bowen, sorry. It's not too bad here. Just fueled up. Now I'm parked up. I'm going to have my lunch. Got a nice salad wrap to eat. And then we'll get back on the road. It's currently about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, we'll take off from here about 2.30, but I mean, have a go at this. Not a bad place to pull up. If it wasn't for the highway, it'd be really quiet too. <laughs> uh, but yeah, just doing a walk around the truck. Just make sure it's all hunky-dory, all good. And then, um, yeah, as I said, we'll have something to eat and then we'll get back on the road. Gonna go to the BP as per usual. <laughs> Always gotta go to the BP when we're in Townsville. Um, we're not gonna make it up there with any great time today. So we'll um, get get unloaded first thing tomorrow. And then, I can't remember if I said, pretty sure I did. But then we're going to go and load some cotton at Emerald. And so yeah, that's about seven, seven hour drive, eight hour drive. Oh no, nah, seven hours. I don't know. It's around that anyway, about that, that time um, from 
the Townsville over there. And then we'll get there tomorrow sometime, park up first thing Thursday morning, we'll get up, get loaded. Hopefully they don't fart ass around and they actually get us loaded at a decent time so we can get to Dolby at a decent time. Instead of, you know, leaving up, up in Emerald at midday, not getting to Dolby until, you know, close to midnight. But, yeah, anyway. Got that lovely road to go down to. Oh, the Carnarvon Highway. Yeah, that's great. And then when you get into Roma, turn left at Roma there. And then you get onto the Warrego. That's just as bad. But anyway. And then, yeah. I, I'm sorry guys, I'm probably repeating myself, but I can't remember uh, if I said it or not. But we're gonna be preloading on Friday for next week. So that should be good. We'll um, get, a, get kicked off on Monday pretty early, which will sort of be good it'll push things push things up and get us moving a bit quicker so yeah but all right i'm gonna go eat my lunch all right as you can see made it to the bp at townsville i've had dinner i've had a shower I'm, um, I'm thinking I might just park up here and again it would be quieter in Bali. Ah bugger it. I'll just park up here tonight and I'll go up there in the morning. It's not like we're going to be in a big rush as long as we get there before 8 o'clock. That's our booking time so get in there, get that done. And um, yeah, get unloaded and then head on to Emerald. So, anyway, guys, I'm gonna jump in the bunk, I'll probably watch a movie, and then head to bed. So, yeah, nice. The sunset here. So yeah. <sighs> Another day done. Let's do it all again tomorrow. Ah. Uh. Good morning, everyone. So for some reason here, the dipstick forgot to turn the bloody other camera on, guys. So unfortunately, we only got the one shot. Sorry about that. How are we all today? Alright, so we're leaving the BP up here in Townsville. Heading up to Bali, which is only about 20 minutes up the road. As you guys probably, if you've seen my other videos, multiple, multiple videos of me doing a Townsville run, you probably already know that it's... Not far up the road. <laughs> but anyway, we'll get up there today, go and get this load off, and then we're gonna deadhead to uh, Emerald. So we don't have to be over there till tomorrow, we're not loading until tomorrow, but even still, it's a pretty, you know, pretty decent drive over, so head over there today probably go to the air pole over at emerald there have a shower have something to eat park up for the night and then in the morning tomorrow we'll go over get loaded with cotton hopefully they pull their finger out and actually get us loaded rather quickly so we can get to dolby at a decent time will that happen i don't think so if I know Cotton QC well enough, I know that they like to take their time. But, yeah, anyway, 
see how it goes. <sighs> All we can do is hope that it's a good day. And um, hope that it doesn't take too long to get unloaded. Time will tell, won't it? Time will tell. All right, guys. So we made it up here. As you see, we've dropped the B trailer. We've got the A trailer on. We're just waiting for this local truck to come out. Then we'll go in. We'll get unloaded. Come out, get the B trailer. You know, normal stuff. Oh, excuse me. And then come out, hook up to Emerald. Pretty, pretty easy day.
Right oh guys, so as you would have seen, I've hooked up, hooked up the set again, I'm ready to go. Just doing a quick walk around, make sure the lights and everything work. Wish they should. Can't see why they wouldn't. And obviously if it wasn't a permanent thing, I make sure my sign's back up. No, just do a, a general look over. Make sure it's all hunky-dory and all good. So, otherwise, we're good to go. So, we're gonna beeline for Emerald. Make it there sometime this afternoon. Okay, so we pulled up here at the Puma at Mossman Park, I believe it's called. Just gonna have a half a here, get something to eat, and then we'll get back on the road. I'm aiming to get to Emerald tonight about 5.30. So I'll pull up at the amp hole there, go in, have a shower, have something to eat, and then whether I go down to the cotton gin, or if I just stay there, I'll work that out once I get down there, but yeah. Anyway. Crash on. It's, um, yeah. It's one of those days. <laughs> so, we're on the GDR, or the Gregory Development Road, on our way into Emerald. South of Charters, fair way south of Charters now. I don't know about you guys, but is it is it just me or does there seem to be more and more roadworks and they seem to be taking longer and longer and longer to get done? Like, as you can see, I'm pulling up to a set of roadworks here and this is only just the start of it. I don't know why, but it just seems to be there's more roadworks everywhere happening and they seem to be taking longer. Is he waving me through? I think he was, mate. Yes, I think he was. I don't know what he's doing. Is there any of this blue tire? We've got to limp up the next park, mate. Okay. You guys seen that? It looked like he was waving me through, but the light was red, so I didn't want to run it. But anyway, yeah, it seems to be there's more and more roadworks, and they seem to just be taking longer. Like my last job, or not, not my last job, sorry, that was with Rebel. The one before Rebel, I was working on, I was working as a water truck driver, and we did a lot of roadworks, but the mob that we were working with. This sort of stuff would take us a week. Um, okay, maybe a couple of days longer, but I actually no. Sorry, I'll repeat that. It would take us about a month. So which was it, Princess? A week, but a month, a year, what? Even still, like, this stuff, God, I can't even remember. The, f the first time I come down, the first time I come down this road would have been a fair few months ago now, and this was all still happening. 
you know, it's been months and months and months and it's not like they're ripping up the whole road and restarting the whole road all over again. They're literally just doing little patches. So, you got me why it takes so long, but anyway, should get to Emerald about 5.30 this evening. And like I said, we'll pull up the the pole there, we'll go in, have ourselves a bite to eat, have a shower, and then we may pull up there, or we may, you know, keep going, get into um, the Cotton Gin's yard and pull up there, but... Alrighty, so, we made it to Emerald. As you can see, it's starting to get dark, but... Another gorgeous sunset. Can't be mad at that. How good does that look? Uh, so, I just pulled up here. Neopole, Caltex, whatever you want to call it. Going to um, stay here for the night and then literally just got to go down the road and then we're at the um, Queensland Cotton for the morning. So we'll go in, get a shower, get something to eat, and call it a night. Have a go at that. Does not surprise me that this bloke is amused by pretty lights. <laughs> Says enough. How cool is that? Oh, we got the moon. <laughs> there she sits. Ready to go. So, yeah. As you can hear, people already have their um, ice packs going. I would say, oh, mate, it's been here for a little while because. It's actually starting to get really cold, which I'm sure it will be really cold, but yeah. Well, um, oh, mate, softy flights on. Oh, no, he's in there. Um, yeah. Go and get something to eat, like I said, have a share, and then off to bed. Good morning, everyone. Right. Going to go get loaded down the road here at the Cotton Gin. It's bloody cold here this morning. I know there's probably people out there saying that's not cold, but trust me, for me it's bloody cold. <laughs> ah, nice, uh, nice sunrise. We've seen sunset, never seen sunrise. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, we'll get the truck warmed up, go around the corner, hopefully we can get in, get loaded rather quickly. I have suspicion that I doubt that'll happen, but you never know. You never know. But anyway, let's go have a good day. Well, so much for my early departure from Emerald. There's a road train and a B-double in front of me. Hopefully they get them out of here pretty quick and we get loaded pretty quick, but knowing this joint, it's not gonna happen. <sighs> the joys of it all. Anyway. Okay, we are loaded. We are leaving this lovely place. Hopefully for a while but we'll see how that goes. Anyway. Yeah, that was interesting. I love how when you say it, oh, you could fit two more. Oh, no, 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 we can't, we can't, we can't. There's plenty of room to fit it. No, 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 we can't. Okay. But anyway, we're loaded, we're out of here, that's the main thing. So, we're gonna get down to Dolby, probably stop at Roma on the way down. But we should be down in Dolby about 7 o'clock. So, yeah, that'll be good. Uh, Alright, enough yimmy yam and jabbering on. Let's do it. Uh, so, we just pulled up here. Uh, where are we again? A little truck stop side of the road called in Wallaroo. Or Wallaroo. Just, well, 
It's quite far south of Ralston. 105 k's to be exact, mate. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> but I just stopped in here to... There's this little uh, food van that I've been hearing about. And it's called Heather's Outback Stack House, I think. I think that was the name of it. But yeah, I just got a steak sandwich. Yeah, guys, if you can stop here, that was really good. But yeah, as you see, it's just literally just a truck stop on the side of the highway here. And yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. And it's good price too. It's not, you know, they don't gouge you on price. Steak Sanger was just, I think it was six bucks. And it was thick too. Should have showed you, but I couldn't help myself. I was hungry. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna get on down. So from here, should be right to go all the way to Dalby. It's only about uh, five hours from here. So. Unlike Emerald, these blokes don't muck around. As you can see, almost finished the B trailer. He's nearly got the A trailer ready to swap, swap over. That just means move the ga gates back and the curtains back. And then we'll be right. I've got my straps put away, my buckles put away, or my ratchet straps, sorry, my ratchets. And yeah, then we're, once that's done, we back to Brizzy and um, park up for the night and then we got a preload tomorrow morning over at Vinodex for Monday so you beauty and it's home for the weekend oh yeah anyway we'll get this done and we'll get back on the road soon the next morning Good morning guys! Well, as you can see, we're already leaving Vinodex here. We are preloaded for Townsville. So I'll be leaving on Monday to head up to Townsville. So yeah, that's not too bad. But um, hopefully it's an easy week next week. but. Find out when we get going. Probably leave, I don't know, probably about lunchtime on okay, I don't know what he's doing, but probably leave about lunchtime on um, Monday. Sorry, lost my train of thought. And we'll head up there try and get up there about Tuesday sometime. Whether we get unloaded Tuesday is, well, yet to be seen. But I'm gonna go drop the truck off at the mechanics at the moment so we can get some stuff repaired and for service. That should be good. That'll hopefully make it run a bit better. Hopefully, 
hopefully he can get this drama fixed with the airbags on the V-trailer. Which are, the reason why it takes so long to build up air in the morning, it just, they, I don't know, it's, it's a relay valve or something in the air system on the V-trailer. But, yeah, he, he knows about it anyway. He said he's gonna, he's gonna try and fix it this, this time. But yeah, anyway guys, I'm actually gonna end the video here and we'll pick back up on Monday. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and share the video. And hopefully guys, you have a good weekend. Um, I know I'm going to. <laughs> but yeah, all right guys, we'll see you on the next one. Hooray. What's going on guys? It's Ronnie the duck that used to be on the front of the truck. And it's that time of the month again, we're coming at you with the Legends of the Month. This month we have Peter's Head 5070, Brad the Trucky, and Ken Blackwood. Thank you so much guys for your continued support. Big fella and I really appreciate it. And we love all the support we're getting from you guys and the good feedback and stuff. Keep those comments coming guys. Alright, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Catch us on the next one. Hey, Rose.